on a try. So for me, I have no experience with swimming or biking. <laughs> so I, they really, I mean, pretty much taught me how to swim kind of from scratch. There was never a time where I didn't think I could do what they asked me to do. And that was pretty awesome. Them. Actually, I have a coworker who's more like one of the IT people who I'm, you know, have to message all the time because things break. And I um, sent out a thing to my company. I was like, hey, if you want to, I'm selling cupcakes to raise money for T2. It seemed to end AIDS. And she sent me this really heartfelt email about one of her best friends who died of AIDS. You know, she was like, hey, he's, he was a runner. So I just know that he'll be on your shoulder telling you to keep going through the whole marathon. And I was, I was like, oh my God, I'm crying at work. Says there was a... There was a time when AIDS was not only a death sentence, but AIDS was also um, it was a disease that led a lot of people in this country just to absolutely ignore LGBT people. Um, and so for me, this uh, is a statement of progress. It's a statement of commitment to never again. Uh, so it's, it's inspiring, it's uh, invigorating, and it's frankly just a lot of fun. The longest I'd ever run when I signed up had been seven miles, and so it was just you know, something on my bucket list. Um, a few of my friends were doing it, and I thought, you know what? I watched it last year in Chicago and had such a fun time watching it. I said, I, if everyone else can do it, I can do it too, and here we are. My brother died of AIDS in 1986, and my family was ashamed of the fact that he died of AIDS and he was gay, and so it was a secret for like 30 years in my life. When I came to Chicago, I saw that sign. I'd always wanted to honor my brother and to be more open about the fact that he had died of AIDS and, and remember him. Um, I had a running buddy who was very inspiring and, and always made me laugh. And he was running for the marathon and I was running for the, for the half marathon or training. When we first started running together, um, I did tell him that I'm HIV positive. And he looks at me and he says, what? And he says, me too. And we stopped running and we're like, ah! And we hugged each other. And it was just this, this moment of almost celebration that there's, there's two people that have experienced something that have changed their lives and um, they're here to be a part of the community. T2, there's a lot of love. Um, there's just, uh, you know, we're really close. And you know, the friends we've made, in T2 over the years. There are people who drive hours to support me and, and we do the same for other fellow T2 athletes because we want to be there.